Hello everybody, Sandeep here again, your coach, mentor and motivational speaker. This video is basically for the structural engineers. Regarding performance based design, what is performance based design? Performance based design is by applying certain, let's say one or two percentage increment in the cost, you are going to increase the performance to a very large extent. Let's say for example, if the life, one minute. If the life of this particular mobile is, let's say, one year, two years, by adding the cover and the, and the tempered glass, the life of the structure can be enhanced to four, five years. This cost of the mobile is how much? One and a half lakh. So by applying just the couple of accessories, which cost hardly less than 1%, I'm going to increase the life of the mobile by maybe doubled or tripled or maybe four times. Why not? So why we are not doing that kind of thing in the projects, in the structural engineers, in the civil real estate industry? So in the upcoming code, what we call it as IS 1893, 2023, the draft code has already released by the authority and it is there with us. If you guys are not knowing where it is, actually you can ping us or you can ask us in the, in the description box below. We will give you the soft copy of that. I would like to tell you that you can go through the draft copy, but there is no, there is nothing called a performance based design, unfortunately. We are not equipped to go for the performance based design. AC41 has come years back, American code. But in India, somehow the research R&D not, has not happened when it comes to the performance based design. In these kind of areas, in this kind of industries, what we call it as the structural engineering, which is basically the main skeleton of the building on which the entire structure is going to stand for a very long time. When you go to any country, how the country is affluent, how the country is rich, how do you predict it? You go to the airport, you see the wow factor, the airport. In India already, you know, you can see the terminal two of uh, Bangalore International Airport, you really feel that you are there on the top of the world. That's how it has been done. Second thing is the, the roads, NH, the national highway roads and all actually if you take, you know, Honor, Honorable Minister Nitin Gadkariji and Honorable Prime Minister Modiji, with them, you will see that the road network is enhancing like anything. The quality of the road, the quality of the, uh, the express road, the quality of the trains is increasing like anything. But why not the codes? If you see that any particular structure, 30 years, 40 years, are, 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 this building is, is very poor, uh, you know, old building. 20, 30 years, the building, how it becomes old? If you see certain buildings, the, the certain structures in European areas or European countries, you will see that 300, 400, 500 years old building are, are there. There are RCC buildings, but they are still there from 300 years. Here, 300 years after 30, 40 years, you know, you start working on the retrofitting, you start working on all this. Why we are not focusing on the long term durations? Real estate is very important backbone to the, to the nation. Okay, so the people who are really watching this video, please give the comments in the comment box actually. We require performance based design and their compliances in the code, in the code 2023. Okay, we are also writing to the committee members that what are the clauses which are very good clauses, which those are there in IS-18, uh, uh, those are there in AC-41, those are there in other international codes. Please take those clauses in the IS 1893 2023. Few more things actually, it has already been done. The earthquake force has been reduced from 1.5 to 1, which is which is a good thing because it was becoming extreme, extremely heavy design. So nobody is using, and nobody was using. Okay, so obviously you know the code authorities have found out. Uh, found it out and they have reduced that 1.5 1 times dead load plus 1 times earthquake load. So, so many I'm going to come up with a new video particularly on IS 1893 2023 in which what are the remarkable changes that are happening but at the same time we require performance based design. We want more, dil mange more. You know, you take a couple of months more, no problem but we need it. We want our buildings to perform 
extremely good in the weathering, extreme heavy weathering conditions. We require it to be stronger when the earthquake hits. We do not want to repeat Killari. We do not want to repeat Bhuj. We do not want to repeat the earthquakes which are getting experienced almost every another year in our capital city of India. Okay, so obviously when you are, you know, putting crores and crores, thousands of crores of rupees in one particular area, we require the code to be as strong as possible. Okay, so how it can be made stronger, how the performance of the structure can be improved, there are logistical ways, there are, uh, uh, you know, technical ways, there are improvements that can be done in particular critical areas. And a lot of research has happened internationally. Let's use that international research. Let's use our engineers and our technical, uh, you know, strong people. And let's make this particular code, the shining code. And so that, you know, all other people, they can use it and they can also get benefited. Indian code is very important. Uh, many, many other countries, they are also using Indian, Indian code. For example, if you see the Nepal, they are using our code. Bangladesh also, they are using our code. Sri Lanka also, they are using our code. Many, many neighboring countries, they are using our code. The day will come that, you know, American code, instead of American code, let's design with the Indian code. If you go to Dubai, many of the, uh, uh, you know, companies, they do not have their own codes. They check the, you know, other international codes, but they do not respect or they do not see Indian code as the valid code. Why? Because we are busy in copying and pasting from some other codes some other codes. Let's do some kind of research and changes in subtle and in, in, in a very strong way, in a particular, uh, you know, uh, unique way, so that, you know, the code that we are writing should be remarkable. Okay, IS-1893, the previous codes, the generation of the code. So I hope everybody as a civil engineer fraternity, all the people will join this particular group in which we require this particular type of analysis. Uh, previously, we were having one type of analysis which we call it as the working stress method. The structures was becoming very, very heavy. It was becoming very uneconomical. Obviously, we have let them bend, crack and all and we limited those cracks and limit stress method we have evolved. Automatically, you know, the cost of the construction has came down. It has helped the entire humanity. Let's take the same stage further and go to the performance based design and let's have more economical structure, more robust structure so that every one of us would be proud of, you know, the, the structures that has built, you know, by our grand grandfathers. Okay, so please make sure that, you know, you subscribe to our channel and we are going to take up this particular thing a little further. Okay, so I'm, I'm sure that, you know, we are, we will be successful one day in which the code is changing and it is making the revolutionary changes in the structural industry. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.